Okay, here we are doing some work on the top right now. Uh, the valve guides uh, had a little bit of excess too tall at the top, but the problem was when you measure the top, it's got a step on it, but the step is not no size. I'm coming up with a .470, and he wanted to put a PC top seal at least on the intake guide. We had a discussion about intake exhaust. I'm a big fan personally of not running any seal on the exhaust because I set my guide clearances up so tight that I, it's really not necessary and it'll actually hurt the life of the guy, but that's for another discussion. What I'm getting at is the top part is 475 and then the bottom part I'm coming up with a one uh, 520. So the answer here is what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the top. It actually has got a step. I know you can see that there. I'm going to take my guide cutting tool and I'm going to pull it down to where it goes to the .520. Yeah, I got it. It's a two-step process on this, but it's worth the trouble to go to that seal. Because the, the thing is, like, I, like me and him talked about, we go ahead and cut the exhaust, and then if you decide, you know, because the worst thing that'll happen is it might have a little puff of smoke in the morning for a few seconds until temperature comes up. It's just where the oil will drain down the guide overnight. Uh, this right here is, to me, the only way to go. And if he makes a decision, he can always put a seal on the exhaust. The reason we're having to go to the Teflon PC or, or Viton PC perfect circle top seal is because he's running a double valve spring, which won't allow a big top umbrella on it. So once I bring these down, Okay, then I go in here and I'll switch. Let me get back with you. Okay, now watch how this does this. Now that it's got that, I got my height down where it had the thin 472, it pops back up thicker to 520. And this little bevel does a really good job of knocking just a little bit of a chamfer so the seal will slide right on the top of it. Now, regrettably, I had something happen, and this, I know you've heard this story before, never loan your tools to people. I had probably one of the only guys that had the stock Chevrolet one uh, 250 valve spring cup cleaner and I, the only thing I ever used that for to be honest is to just clean it up if it was rough or scabby on the bottom and I loaned it to a round track guy uh, about a year ago and I just went to get it because I was I needed to open these up and uh, now I'm not going to be able to open this perch up to accept the spring and that kills me because uh, this is one of my few customers that get to come down here and meet me. And he's already on his way here and it's uh, Saturday, no excuse me, Sunday morning I'm about to conclude it. So y'all know the story, no matter how good of friends, and of course once I loaned it to him, I never seen the guy again, done business with him five years. But anyway, uh, that trims that part and uh, 
that two-step process now he can accept the perfect circle seal on this 1973 head so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to show you how a little bit about the guide installation because I'm using a different kind of tool because these are 5 16 guides it uses what's called a tungsten ball to do it all right